Welcome, welcome, everybody. To another stream where I act like I know what the fuck I'm doing. Even though I really don't. Anyone that thinks that needs to, uh... Reevaluate whether or not they want to keep going with that opinion. So I'm telling you right now, it's wrong. No getting around it. We are back with Super Mario World, the the normal version. Because I don't have any fan-made games for this. Although, if you know of any of them, please let me know. That is something I am looking to get into. Oh. As you guys were able to see on the little home screen there, I have gotten a decent ways into this game. I've beaten this game many times, dating back to when I was a child and had no life. <laughs> but the first time I completed it was when I was in fourth grade and I was playing the Game Boy Advance version. Because that is what I had at the time. I mean, we had a Super Nintendo as well, and we had this game, as a matter of fact. But... Fucker. You son of a bitch. But if I played it on the Super Nintendo, that would have meant I had to share the game. And potentially risk somebody, I don't know who. Deleting my files, and I wasn't gonna have any of that bullshit. No, sir, not on my watch. Right. I am. Up the ladder. Actually, this is. One of the games that I will regularly play when I am, we'll just say, not sober. Which could mean a, a variety of things, really. Use your imagination. What have I talked about on past streams that, that I might be implying here? I'm sober right now. I don't want to be hung over tomorrow, and uh, I don't feel like... I bet you do. <laughs> and I don't feel like smoking right now. So, I'm sober. I am not an alcoholic, as a matter of fact. I used to be when I was like, I don't know, 20. But I I'm not anymore. I don't like being hung over. Oh shit, not what I'd wanted. There we go. Give me the mushrooms. Mario's gonna have one hell of a fucking trip. These aren't actually dinosaurs or Koopas or anything. These are real people that he's just murdering for no reason. Other than he is high as fuck right now. Too many mushrooms. And apples, I guess. I don't know. So we are allegedly in the middle of a snowstorm in Fargo, North Dakota, which is debatable. I have seen the weather much worse. The roads are a bitch to drive on, but other than that, it's pretty... Motherfucker. Stupid fucking mole. Pretty standard stuff, as far as storms go. I mean, I've driven in 
blizzards before, so... I'm not really bothered. You cunt. You son of a fuck. You asshole. I hope you die. Not by my hand, though. Because I'm not a murderer. Even though I just... Just said Mario is murdering all these innocent people for no reason other than the fact that he is high as fuck right now from those mushrooms and he only thinks that those flowers are orange because of the mushrooms the psychedelic effect you know really just your standard flower likely green he is Stoned off his ass. Nice and toasted. We're gonna see how far I can get in this game before saying, fuck this, I don't want to play anymore. As I said, I don't typically play this game when I am sober. So this is new to me. Kind of, not really. I played it when I was sober when I was a kid, I guess, but that was a long, long time ago. Not in a galaxy far, far away, though. I don't want to get sued by Disney for copyright. It, it was in this galaxy, as a matter of fact. It is allegedly the Milky Way galaxy. I don't know. I haven't been in space. I'm no scientist. I can't prove or disprove anything, really. That would involve me doing work and, like, hell. If I'm doing that, I'm not getting paid for it. And seeing as how I am not an affiliate yet, I am not going to do that kind of work for Twitch. Oh, oh, that was close. I added a couple new things for Nightbot. I'm still adding more. I just don't remember how to do the fucking coding the way I'm supposed to. So either sometime tonight if I stay sober after my stream, which is highly debatable. I'm gonna look more into that with tutorial videos. Or tomorrow. I'm not really planning on going anywhere because I heard it is supposed to rain and I would rather be punched in the fucking face than drive in freezing rain with the drivers in this town. I have went on at least one rant about Fargo-Moorhead drivers and how I think they're fucking awful. The absolute worst. So I don't think I need to cover that again. And I'm not hyper enough to go on a full-blown rant about how I don't like the drivers in the area. And I don't like driving in freezing rain in general. Shit sketchy. Die! Oh, nope! You son of a bitch! You motherfucker! Get out of here! Get! So my two choices for tonight that I decided on last night before becoming not sober and going to bed were either this game or Crash Bandicoot Warp. And not gonna lie, I only went with this because... You motherfucker! What a shitty minigame! I only went with this because... I am far less likely to... make a complete fucking fool of myself. Like, rest assured. That'll happen. As I am really fucking good at that. But it's not going to happen right now.
that, that, and that. I need nothing else from you. All sarcasm aside, though, we do kind of have a winter storm going on. It's not as bad as everyone thought it was going to be, I don't think. That shit kind of gets blown out of proportion here, because this is a state where everyone acts like bad weather is this huge fucking surprise. But we get it every year without fail, because we live in the upper Midwest. So it shouldn't even come as a surprise to anyone. Everyone is just dumb, is what I've gathered from this. Hey! I don't want to see your balls! Get out of here! Son of a bitch. Keep your fucking balls away from me! Oh my god. Cursed image! Alright, done with Castle 1 already. I am happy to announce that my two Tomb Raider streams are doing relatively well on YouTube. Which doesn't necessarily mean they're doing like super good, but by my standards they are. We are going to clear the level normally first, and then we'll deal with. Ooh. Then we'll deal with the hidden exit. Because you motherfucker, I don't want your mushroom. Get out of here with your fucking mushroom. You want that, though. Sorry, Yoshi. I don't need you anymore. When I was a kid, I'd never figured out how the fucking cape worked. So I was kind of dumb. Like, I was a really, really smart dumb kid. that makes any sense. Like, more complex things. Sure, no problem. What the fuck ever. I'll figure that out for ya. Shit like that. Yeah, I don't know how that fucking works. It sounds like there's a fucking echo in my room, and I don't like it. But this is an apartment building, and I am 150% unwilling to invest in acoustic of any kind. I don't even like this apartment that much. I learned the other day from one of my roommates, management for this shithole has changed a good four or five times since we moved in. Which is news to me, but that explains why jack shit gets done here. And why it is a bitch to reach the office at all. So, oh, shit. Come back to me! So, fuck them for the lack of updates in regards to apartment management. Fucking assholes. But it is what it is.
Okay, so as everyone knows, well, should know for this game, levels that have a red dot, more than one exit, you would do well to learn where they are, what they go to, whether that's something you care to fuck around with. I like hitting the other exit myself, but I feel like that is almost like a fucking OCD thing. That guy will actually be getting the quote unquote secret exit before the normal one. For this level, anyway. For that little green outline there, that is the exact reason why. I don't like you anyway, Yoshi. There we go. Oh, 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 nope, nope. Did not work. Right, so for secret exits, you get a secret key and it takes you to a secret location. Remember, it's a secret. There we go. And we are off. So, I like getting these switches as I'm playing on a switch as quickly as I can because let me tell you, it makes things a hell of a lot easier. You are a lot less likely to fuck yourself in the game. And they give you a save point, so that's pretty alright. On with the program. I don't want the mushroom. Mario is seeing enough shit as is. You son of a bitch! Now I want it, now I want the mushroom. I really got fucked there. That... Haha. -ha. Give me all the coins. I really don't like this level, if I'm being honest. I don't like a lot of the early levels in this game, but I feel like that is 150% because of overexposure. What, you don't like the edit I made? Oh, uh, th there are more, that's just the beginning. Actually, that is... supposed to be part of a more elaborate chain of commands. I was just really tired last night when I was trying to figure all that shit out. Save night bot. Yeah, social still works the same. Thank you. Thank you. I contemplated sending all of my mods a list of the new commands, but I refuse to do so until <laughs> 
until it is a definitive list. I know, personally, I'm waiting to test a very specific one out. But I have not reached that point yet in this game. It'll happen, I'm sure. I'll take them. Seek the exit. Now, this is something you're going to want to do. When you play the game. I think it's a good idea anyway. You might consider it cheating, but if it was cheating, why would they add it into the fucking game? Now check this out. Top secret area. And this is cool because free power-ups, the free sacrifice, I reckon we'll go back here for a bit. Fly over the whole fucking level. Or not. You son of a bitch. Try to get a life. There's a trick for this as well. So if you do that, you'll get an O. But you have to be like, super fucking close to it is the thing. See, whereas if you do random ones, it doesn't do that. And I learned that from a little cheat book thing I had when I was in fifth grade. Actually, that's where I learned quite a bit of this shit from. I think this is a far more effective method of gaining lives. But that is just me. I actually don't like that little mini game that we are just in a whole hell of a lot. I think it wastes far too much time. So we'll get them. I suppose I should promote my socials a bit. Now that they've been sitting in chat for a bit. Disregard Twitter. It is run by... We'll just say a dumbass. Some kind of monster. Oh, shit. YouTube, though, is... Oh, I didn't know I could hit those with my cape. Is where a lot of my old shit is. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Again, not all. So really, if you wanted to, you could bypass the level that has the alternate route for the green switch entirely. If you wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Seems kind of fucking dumb to me, but whatever. You're the one playing it, not me. If you want to make awful decisions, that is your choice, but I will make fun of you for it, because I think it is a dumb choice. Actually, I'll make fun of almost anyone for anything, like for watching Disney Channel shows that I don't think are good. I'll make fun of people for that. Actually, it's debatable. No! It's debatable as to whether any Disney Channel show could technically be considered 
good. Since the Disney Channel, I mean... Who the fuck... ...thinks that... ...that that's... ...legitimately good content? It's not. It never has been. But... ...I am blinded by nostalgia. And there are certain shows... ...from when I was a kid that I like quite a bit. And the shows that came after it are... ...going to be judged by me. And a lot of other people who have the same strange hostility towards said shows. Nothing against any of the actors or actresses, I just don't like them. And I don't have to. That is my prerogative. I hate fish. Like, I'm not even saying that just to say shit. I fucking hate seafood in general. I am some kind of monster. So when I... I had just turned 18. And I had just graduated high school a few months prior, so... For like, one of my graduation presents, and an 18th birthday present, I had went out to Seattle with my dad's side of the family because I used to be really into 90s alternative and grunge, like, Nirvana was my favorite band for a very long time, and it is still in my top three. And because of that, my dad and old stepmom thought it would be a good idea to go out there. Our first day in Seattle, we go to Joe's Crab Shack or some shit like that. And, uh... Granted, like, I got a couple good jokes out of it. Because, uh... I'll joke about almost anything, really. I don't care how taboo the topic is. Like... Almost everyone else there got seafood, so I'm like, Oh, you guys all have crabs! You have crabs! And... That was not appreciated. While they were eating. I don't know why. I, I don't know what was wrong with the joke. At all. It was funny, damn it. But... Thank God they had normal people food. They wound up having a burger. But ever since I was a kid, I didn't like seafood. I didn't like the taste of it at all. I know my grandpa had to trick me into eating fish when I was younger. He had some weird fucking name that he would call it. I just don't remember what that name is right now. But... It... Seafood in general has always just tasted fucking awful to me. Fish, shrimp, crab, lobster, all of it. I... No thank you. I don't like alligator either. I have tried that. And... I think that is also gross. Is there something wrong with me? Probably. It's a safe bet. Probably lots of things, really. I'm an American after all. There has to be. Some kind of mental illness, right? Anyway. <laughs> um. But all I have for, uh, that. So we'll keep going with the game. Kind of doing things in a real fucky order here. Right, we are going to sacrifice Yoshi, I think. Or maybe we aren't, I don't know. 
I thought he would have been dead by now. Wish in one hand, right? We'll gain some momentum. I believe I can fly. It's a horrible song. Even as a kid, I didn't like that shit. Just barely made that a moment ago. Haha, <laughs> I don't want you, Yoshi. Get fucked. Wait, come back! Never. Really, Super Mario World is not a long game at all. Especially if you know what you're doing. There are a couple of levels later on that I'll occasionally get tripped up trying to find secret exits and all that shit. But for the most part, it's relatively straightforward for me. Fly that easy. Back in ninth and tenth grade. So ninth grade is when my dad and I moved out of the trailer we were living in with my sisters and their mom and got our own apartment. I would catch him playing. Super Mario World pretty frequently and even back then I, I was better at video games that's just how it was and I would watch him fuck up quite a bit like do you want help no I can do it okay well if you want help let me know I'm fine I can do it yeah, I know. I I heard you. But if you want help, not kind of kind of just taunt him about it. I'm a prick. You heard it from me first, folks. I'm an asshole. I really wish I had fucking cape right about now. Come on. Out that door. We'll be going back with a cape. But not all heroes wear cape. In fact, I don't think most of them do. That is a bullshit notion. We've got Batman, Superman, they aren't even real. Spawn, I guess. I think it's debatable as whether he's a hero or not. I think he did some awful things at the beginning of that run. Ooh. How the fuck I got out of that undamaged is beyond me. But fuck it. Oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> gotta go fast. There. And we're not going to fuck up this time, I hope. I don't know. We might. We might fuck up. We didn't. But we need that fucking key block. God damn you. On King Boo. Come on, loser. So this is allegedly a boss fight. I don't consider it to be one because it is ridiculously easy. See? But 
What the hell do I know? So doing that will grant us exposure to Star Road, which is cool. Once you have access to this, you can finish the game so goddamn quickly if you really want to. And I will demonstrate how in just a moment here. Gotta get to the right area. So you need the hidden exits here. Otherwise... Ah, uh, no! You can also get different colored Yoshis here. Fuck! Not what I wanted to do. Now the swarm will be after me. No, 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 no. You motherfucker. You son of a bitch, get back here. God damn it. Fine. We'll just redo this level. Oh, there's Nightbot fucking parroting what Lin just Lin promoted a while ago. Blue Yoshi is my favorite Yoshi. Because no matter what kind of shell it gets, it is like it had a fucking Red Bull. And it gets wings. Damn it. Kill him real quick. It'll make things way easier for us. Motherfucker. There we go. So... Yellow... Yeah, yellow Yoshi I don't really like all that much. It just shells pretty much turn it into walking cow block. Fucking dumb. Red Yoshi. I'll be back for all these other Yoshis eventually. The blue shells give you wings. Red ones give you balls. Fireballs. Uh green ones, I think. I think they're typically fireballs as well. See? Walking cow black. Okay. I need the red one first. So to get to the hidden exit here, you need the red thing. Switch. Thing. I don't know. I don't know what you fucking want me to call it. But we don't have that right now. And we won't have it for a little bit longer. We need to get to the vanilla dome, I believe. The dimidome. And we're actually pretty close to that. Where do you go? So we can't go to that castle yet. Because we... I believe you just have to beat that castle in order to get to it. That Star Road Warp. So I don't think the game innately assumes you are going to... This is the one that's fucking pain in the ass to get to. I don't think the game assumes you are going to get to it right away. So, we will keep on with our mission. Oh, shit. That's right, come back.
I mean, it's kind of nice what I'm able to do right now. But I'd really rather just be able to fly the entire time. Sounds like a better deal to me. Like, yeah, you can do it that way, but... I prefer wings. Not doing too bad, so far. But wait, there's still time for me to fuck it all up. Yoshi, you wait up out here. This is no place for what is supposed to be a dinosaur. Oh, shit, shit, shit. That was smooth. Womp. Not really anticipating the stream to do all that well without playing mod modded versions of the game. If everyone's seen normal Super Mario World. Old news. No! I'm back! God damn it! There we are. I don't want the coin. I am not the mummy from that Scooby Doo episode. Come on, don't fuck me on this. Let's go. But much like how I used to stream Pokemon ROM hack fairly frequently, I would like to start doing the same. Son of a bitch. I'd like to start doing the same thing for Super Mario World. And maybe the others, if they're easy to mod. I don't know, I haven't looked into it. Honestly, it is not a thing that really occurred to me prior to researching and seeing what the market was like for these videos. I don't think so, fuckface. Lay off the crap. Ta-da! Not bad at all. Right. Test this out. Eggs can't talk. All right, we are off to the Vanilla Dome. And I think we will go with the normal path first in this instance. God damn it, I didn't want that. I want my fucking Yoshi! Son of a bitch. Leave it to me to make everything more difficult than it needs to be. The fucking curse, I tell ya. You want that. You know what? Maybe we won't go for the normal exit first. 
because I wanted to see if I was able to do that. And I was, clearly. Right... Now we'll do the normal exit, for real. As you can see, it it wanted you to have red block first. But we're classy, damn it. And we're not doing that. While well, we're pretending to be classy. We're not really. Or I don't think we are. Maybe you are. I'm not. Right... Off we go. Up, up, up. On... Up two for there. That was... Close. There we go, perfect 40. Or maybe you can get 50, I don't know. 40's not too bad though. Not bad at all. Another mini game I don't really like. I prefer the memory game from Mario 3. By a long shot. So, in Vanilla Dome 2, you can get the red thing. And it's pretty easy, really. This is where I leave you, Yoshi. I don't need you anymore. Right, well that I actually do not like Yoshi at all I fucking hate Yoshi with a passion it is a dumb fucking character fucking hate Yoshi in Super Smash Bros especially we'll go back Uh oh. We will trap it over here. Oh! Shit. My bad. Well, I get to test this out now. A new counter. Oh, not that one. Missed a letter. And then... Nope, I did not activate that one. That's it. I'm going to get my cape. But yeah, that is a new counter I've got going on. And because I don't trust my moderators, or anyone else for that matter, really. I believe I have it currently set to only I can fuck with it. And if I don't have it set to that, that'll be changing soon. Oh, don't really need you Yo, she has this glazed over look in their eyes. Mm. 
right. Save. Work on getting back to the Road of Stars. Even though it may or may not be ill-advised. It probably isn't. I like to over-exaggerate, though. Because I can. Right through here. Wow, these pipes need cleaning. If you're a kid, do not watch this channel. Or, I guess you can- you shouldn't, though. There are a lot of jokes you shouldn't hear. And occasionally topics that are not- allegedly not appropriate for younger viewers. I can't really judge that because, uh, I, I don't know. My morals are iffy at best. Like, <laughs> Trying to think of how I can properly describe how my morals or lack thereof are like barely what I have morals I won't let kids get hurt for example That, that's about it. Other than that, nope. Not really concerned. Morals get in the way of a good time. Uh-oh. 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 No! Fuck! Son of a fucking bitch. Well, this is the hard way, I guess. Or, I guess, the way it was intended to be played. Forgot about the fucking switch. Right, well, I fucked up. I almost had it, but then I didn't. As that tends to happen. I want the blue Yoshi for that. I'm too scared to try it normally. Oh, shit! Fucking asshole. I feel like I'll check the access. I'm not granting any on access if if I don't have to. Okay, well, I think I changed it to where 
No, I just changed it to make it where only I can. No one's fucking with my counter. Oh yeah, we don't want Yoshi yet. So we are gonna go get a blue Yo Yoshi. Nope. When I was looking at it a bit ago, everyone was able to do it, I guess. Fuck, that's not what I wanted. Exit that level. And... That was very alarming. Like hell. Not on my watch. Fuck. <coughs> Ugh. I leave the level with... That's fine, it doesn't count towards the counter if you type it at random. That's fine, like, half the things I do are because of spite. Spite makes the world go round. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about most of the time, you guys. Do not treat anything I say as a fact, unless I blatantly say, Hey, this is a fact. Fuck, that's not the one I need either. And I just lost the Yoshi. God hates me. I want my Yoshi back. Oh, I went to the wrong one, that's why, huh? I'm dumb. <laughs> you heard it from me first, everyone. I'm dumb. No, it won't work. Maybe eventually on a holiday, like, I'll turn it on for everyone. It'll be rated E for everyone. This is not that day. No! God damn it. God damn it. This is what I get for being a fucking asshole. Go back to our top secret area. Like I said, there are more Nightbot commands, I'm just not listing a lot of them. It just isn't your day, is it? First the fuck command was modified, and now this bullshit? No, no, I need Yoshi first. I do legitimately think that even if I had it where mods could use the command freely that it would get abused way too much. And that is why I refuse to have it for anyone lower than the owner of the channel. I do not want my <laughs> streams to be 150% chaos right off the bat. Only, only a little bit of chaos for me, thank you. No, 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 no! <sighs> Fuck! Okay, new plan, I've got this. We can make this work, people. We are in this together. Except you guys have no stake in this at all. Come on, you fucking flying cunt.
God damn it. Okay, well, I cannot get that one anyway yet, so... I have failed all of you. I'm a monster. Son of a bitch. Fine. So, what I was trying to do was show all of you the top secret area that I'm not very good at, admittedly. Some of those levels are fucking tricky. But... If there is a god, they hate me for all of the... jokes I make ab about them and their alleged kid. And... Do I plan on changing any of that? No. No, not at all. I'm still going to make jokes about things that I don't particularly care about. Nothing can stop me. Oh, actually, I'm more prepared. Come on, fuckhead. Oh, that. Oh! You bastard! Come at me. Oh, shit! Alright, you are no longer welcome to come at me. No! No, 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 no! Uh, go! Go, Mario, go! That was close. I almost had to use exclamation point dead. I have access to it. Ooh, that was a close one, and I wasn't even fucking around. Zipped Body has a pretty good story of when he and I were playing this game. I believe it was... Four twenty of 2019. If I'm remembering correctly, it was pre-pandemic. But not by much, I don't think. It involves me playing this game, trying to speedrun a level, wearing a relatively grotesque looking jack-o'-lantern mask. High as fuck. Admittedly, it was 420, so I wasn't gonna be sober. And I failed, and... Son of a bitch. As that death music played, my head just dropped. Let me go get some power up. Um, one of the commands that I am trying to string together with the dead one is my exclamation FYNB command, which is, Hey, fuck you, Nightbot, in response to uh, telling me that I died. Originally, the dead message was a bit modified. To fit more in line with the message I have just told you about. Because I found it amusing. Whether anyone else would find it amusing is a different question. And. Motherfucker. I want up there. You. Fucking whore. There we go. Now, whether anyone else would find it amusing is... a whole different 
thing. See, that's why you can't do dead. You gotta do it right away. And I feel like you and Zip might spam it over and over. Ah, damn it, I need the thing. Give it here. Fork it over. I like how it says exit. Great. This bullshit fuckery again. Whoopee. Overall, I think I prefer Super Mario Bros. 3 over World. I like the map layout of 3 a bit more, I think. Alright. I'll be here. Doing another mediocre stream. Well, I think it's mediocre. Could be a hell of a lot better. I've got a relatively okay, kind of, I don't know, plan in place as to how I plan on improving it in the next couple of months. We'll see how that goes. I'm kind of optimistic about it anyway. I'm gonna try to make a... Yeah, we're not doing this shit. Try to make a quality thing for you guys. But like I said, I don't quite know how that's gonna work out. I think it'll work out fine, but I've been wrong before, even though I hate to admit it. That, thank fucking god. I get really impatient with the skull boat things. I get really impatient with a lot of things. I'm not, I'm not a very patient person. Shit! Thank God. Oh, uh, 27! Mario's joining, joining the 27 club, confirmed. And if you don't know what that is, don't look it up. It is quite the morbid topic. Oh, shit. Yeah. Maybe I'm not doing things that way. I like this level quite a bit. I like how the background looks for some reason. I think it's just... That specific shade of blue-green that I like quite a bit. You might be thinking, God, what a boring way to play the game, flying over levels like this. Fuck off! I don't like a lot of these early levels. <laughs> it's the later ones that I like. only been a little over an hour. That is... something. Right, we've got the douchebag wizard here. Fucking up our shit. Oh, 
on. Get. Damn it! Get fucked, you dumbass wizard. Send your ass back to Oz. I'm not dead, I didn't die. He's gonna puke! Right. That bullshit fuckery. Um. Oh! That's something I should address. Because I had been talking about it the last couple of streams. I do have. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion in my possession. It is actually all ready to go whenever I want to stream it. It did not take long to install at all. Because I predicted it was a relatively small game due to it being on the PlayStation Portable. I just did not feel like doing that this evening. I decided to take my chances with Mario World. Ah, you cunt. Fuck you. Burn! Um. But I'll probably do that tomorrow. I have all the time in the world tomorrow. Except between like 3 and 5. I'm supposed to go to do a physical for plasma donation and then donate plasma. But if the roads are as bad as I think they are, they can fuck right off and I'm not doing it. So, I'll be doing that tomorrow. These things take fucking forever to get through. Whether it'll be a full playthrough or not remains to be seen. This is a level that never fails to annoy me with its goddamn hidden exit. I will still struggle with this one on occasion. I remember watching my old uncle struggle with this hidden exit, actually. Which, as a kid, that blew my mind. He was like the best fucking person I knew at video games. He'd always help me out. Like, I know what to do, it's just the execution that I'm not very good at. Right, get that. There's a Yoshi somewhere, I think. And that's really what I'm looking for here. It is absolutely imperative that I get that Yoshi. Nope, not there. Fuck! God damn it. Go get my own fucking Yoshi, I guess. Bring... BYOY. Bring your own set. Yoshi. Bring your own Yoshi. 
that you're not going to sacrifice because you're not a complete monster. Who are you bullshitting? Yeah, you are. Come on. Come on, friend. God, uh. Just imagine. Thank fucking God. That's pretty cool. All right, I, I can get behind that. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Just imagine. I hadn't been fucking around the way that I am. I could have been significantly further in this game. Oh, 27 again! Don't let him near a shotgun! Soda late. I'd say don't let him near another thing as well, but I might get in trouble if I say what that is on Twitch. Because even though I really do not want kids watching my content because it is, um, First of all, it's not politically correct at all. Like, you are going to probably learn quite a few jokes that are going to either get you detention or fucking in school suspension or something. I don't think schools actually expel kids anymore. I don't know anyone who's actually been expelled. I'm pretty sure that's a fucking But I do know plenty of kids that got their fair share of in-school suspension, which I, I've i always thought that was the dumbest fucking thing. Like, that that's the best you can come up with for a punishment. That really isn't that bad, they don't have to fucking read out loud or do any of that bullshit fuckery, that's not even a punishment, really. You get to sit there the entire day. But anyway. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. That's how you get to that one though. Good talk, good talk. We will continue on the Cheese Bridge. Which is a stupid fucking name. Good evening! Good evening, good evening. My train of thought goes right out the window multiple times a day. And. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck oh, yeah. And I can't really explain why. Like, if. If I've had a few drinks, that explains why, but I have not today. I've been sober the entire day, which is pretty damn good, actually. All things considered, with the weather. Really, I've completed this level already, so I'm gonna fly past. For the normie exit. I might beat this entire game by the time I'm done streaming. My pride might just be like, yeah, you're uh, doing the whole damn thing. Oh. I forgot about him. <laughs> Tracks are overrated anyway. Uh... Oh, shit! 
My bad. See, it's a good thing I got that red block thing. Look past there. Ah, motherfucker. Mother of God. One up. Down the... Oh, fuck. What the hell do we have going on here? Nope! Son of a bitch. Alright. New plan. New plan. I don't know why that one's not working. <laughs> but... I have got... Oh, there it goes. A modified one. That I like quite a bit. And eventually I will be... Figuring out how to... Chain commands together. So when I actually sit down and figure it out, I've got a new message prepped for that. And it it's a shame that I can't add audio to them because I would have had some voices for those messages. But, I think the whole save Nightbot thing is phenomenal. There was a subscriber of this channel a few streams ago. He had said save Nightbot and I thought it was amusing because my god Nightbot really does need saving. Oh, Jesus Christ! 27 again! Check the room above the garage for Mario. I hate this goddamn minigame. Passion. Hey! So I get for talking shit about it. Backwards L. Not that we really need the lives. I don't think we are going to run out our lives at all. Alright, I do not feel like doing castle number four yet. Instead, we are going to go back into the vanilla dome, the dimidome. And work our way to the what what I believe is the northwest part of it. I don't know. It, it could be all reversed, for all I know. Come on. Once I reach the Forest of Illusion, that's when I start liking the levels a bit more. As I didn't play the hell out of those ones as a kid, like, First grade is when I had first reached it, but oh, fuck. I botched that one. But prior to first grade, like when I was a fucking toddler, just not knowing what the hell I was doing really, but playing video games, I would play the first few areas of this game quite a bit. Which explains my fatigue. Come on, Yoshi. Come on, Pawn. Right, but I don't want to lose you quite yet. Smooth. Oh. Feel better soon. Stay safe. 
tomorrow if the weather is bad. I know the weather is fucked in a lot of different parts of the U.S. right now. My dad was saying anyway. As he is a truck driver. So he, he sees some shit. Oh, did it? I haven't looked at any shit. That was a close one. Any updates recently? I know personally, I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. If the roads are as bad as fucking A. The roads are as bad as fucking A. Um. But if if the roads are icy as shit tomorrow, I'm I'm staying at home doing streams, day drinking, responsible adult thing. Oh shit! The dolphins. The island of the blue dolphins. I hate that fucking book. I hate that book with a passion. I had to read it in fifth grade. But let me tell you. I didn't give a flying fuck what happened to that kid or her younger brother at all in that story. Oh. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. No, 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 no. I was kidding. Leave me alone. Son of a bitch. Fuck it. I don't want the feather. I just want to live. Ah, fuck. I wonder, does this one work yet? It does work! Cool. My dumbass has had that as a command for a very long time, and I don't think I've really ever taken time to fuck with it a whole lot to see if it works properly. Hey, fuck off, asshole. I'm just gonna sit here. Run out the clock. Actually, we're gonna fly over the level because I do not like this level. This level is dumb. 26. Get your own fucking age, Mario. The Vanilla Fortress. When I was a child, this level in particular used to give me a lot of trouble. My work isn't closed tomorrow, as far as I know. I don't have to be there, but... I'm sure as hell not doing Uber tomorrow. Fuck that. Like, I know I drive kind of erratically on my own, but I am unwilling to put myself in total danger. Due to survivalism, which is a horrific Nine Inch Nails song. For those of you that don't know. For those of you that do, good for you, you've got good taste in music. Welcome to my show, where I rip apart your choices and 
music. Or... <laughs> tell you how good they are. It could really go either way. With me. Only been an hour and a half. That ain't long at all. Butterbridge one, which implies there is a Butterbridge two. Oh god damn it! It's a scrolling stage. Motherfucker, I don't like it. But I do like that. I don't like games where it is auto-scrolling. There are very few games that I'm alright with that concept in. Like, House of the Dead in the arcade, I fucking love that. That's phenomenal. But, like, get like, oh! Fuck, close. God damn it! <laughs> Fuck you, Koofa Troopa! I hope you get all sorts of diseases. Son of a fucking bitch. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I, for example, I don't like Star Fox 64, but it is mainly on rails. I, the only Star Fox I like is one of the, I think it is the most hated in the franchise, because it is not really a Star Fox game. It wasn't supposed to be one in the first place. Star Fox Adventures. And I think it's a fun game. And all the haters are just pissed that Rare left Nintendo and it's not a traditional Star Fox game, but you know what? Shit happens. Butter Bridge 2. He can fly! He can fly! Hey, hey, I want that. Give it! I want another one, too. Well, that didn't work. Oh, shit. Not what I'd wanted. Fucking asshole. Nope. Mmm, I gotta be careful. I need a second one. God damn it! <laughs> Fine, I don't- I didn't want it anyway. Yes, I did. I lied. I lied. Give it here. It was a trap. What about this one? That one's good. That one's good. Right. On we go. Well, I know why they call it Butter Bridge. You gotta have fucking... Really good fucking reflexes. Like, Butterfingers, but... But, like, beneficial to you. Or you need to be... Really lucky. Which, that's the camp that I fall under. Castle number four already. Or five, depending on how you want to look at it. Since we did that optional one. I'm looking at it as number four. 
technically those optional ones are not really castles, they are fortresses. So castles for pussies, pretty much. Is how I have always chosen to interpret that. Now you can interpret it any which way you want because you are your own person and shouldn't be letting anyone else interpret things for you at all, ever, unless like, unless you don't speak a language that you need to be speaking at that moment, like let's say you're traveling somewhere and you need an interpreter. In that case, you should definitely have someone interpreting for you. If you don't, you're fucking stupid. Shit. Oh! Shit! Nope! Nope! Oh god, that was... Awful. Zero out of ten, do not recommend. There wasn't even a fucking reason for going over there. It seems. And now I'm short. I'd have to fight the boss. No! Get fucked. Fuck you. Haha! -ha. Can't catch me. Oh! You almost had me that time, pal! Why? Well, if work doesn't call off for you tomorrow for whatever fucking reason, why don't you just say that you can't make it in due to the roads? How the hell are they gonna know? They're not. Unless they go to your house. And that's kind of weird. That's fair, I suppose. Can't just go pick up overtime on the weekends. As nobody is there. The forest of illusion. When I was in first grade, and first got to this area, it tripped me up so fucking much. You do not want to jump on them. God damn you! That's fair, I guess. No, motherfucker. Now you all have to die. Do you see what I've done? The consequences of my actions will directly affect all of you enemies. Get the fuck out of my way. He's gonna fall! Right, we'll get back to that in a while here. The next area of the game is another area that fucked with me quite a bit as a kid. Specifically, one level in it. Well, the 
caterpillar thing is called roid roided up. That is super duper. Oh, that. You guys see that slow down there? Ooh! That was closer than I would have liked. Get the fuck out of my way. Debating on if I want to actually finish this tonight or if I am going to do a two parter. I would kind of like some food. I have had a little bag of chips today, and that is quite literally it. I'm bad at making sure I actually eat meals. Actually, I'm really not on my days off. It's work days that I tend to fuck myself over with that. As I almost never want to wake up on time and have to rush to get ready for work as is. Have I learned from my own actions and their alleged consequences? No, no I haven't. What kind of fucking American learns from their mistake? Not a real one. That's, that's what kind. I tell you what. Oh. Hey! Fucking prick. Yoshi, get back here. I might need to sacrifice you yet. Hey, it worked. Um. Fucker. Hey, still. A couple of other video games that I associate with Super Mario World would be Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, and, and this one's gonna probably come as a shock, Beavis and Butthead, both on the Super Nintendo, because my uncle, who had a Super Nintendo. So a little backstory, I lived with my mom until middle of fourth grade, and then I decided to move in with my dad. Uh, so I didn't always have reliable access to the good old nest at my dad's. But we lived right next door to my aunt and uncle when I was in first grade. And we would... Well, I would play video games there a lot. Um, so... That is why I associate those games with this one so much. I actually played uh, Diddy's Conquest more than this and Beavis and Butthead, which is likely surprising because that's not an easy game by any means. God no. Especially if you really want to be fucking thorough with it. But I did pretty fucking well for a little five or six year old. Oh, crap again with this bullshit level. I hate underwater levels. I hate a lot of things. I'm a very hateful person. Except I'm not. Not really.
Oh, so you do work tomorrow. So are you happy about it or no? Gotcha. But I thought you wanted the hours. I don't, I'm pretty thrilled I don't work tomorrow. I have this issue where I tend to work too much. I think I'm a workaholic, in all honesty. I hate the slowdown that happens level. I don't remember it happening happening on the Super Nintendo version that bad. Um but with how my part time job is right now this week I you might be well aware, but the general audience probably isn't. Because most of these people, especially like for post views and shit, don't know me. I don't think. Do you know me? I don't know me. Um. Anyhow. En fuck. Enough bullshit fuckery. Um. So when I have days off from my part-time job, I will do Uber, which I have said many, many, many times in the past, and I'm not going to quit saying it because I don't have to. And I get bored easily. I don't like sitting around my apartment all day, really. I can't just... I can't. Die. Well, I can die. I'm pretty sure. I'm not willing to test it out right now. But my money is on. I can. Um. But if the roads are as god. Fucking oh, asshole. As god awful as they are predicting tomorrow, I'm not going to want to do Uber. So it will be a real day off for me, instead of, uh, oh, I'm bored, I'm not sitting at home, I'm gonna go do Uber type of day for me. That's how you leave the Forest of Illusion normally, we are not doing that right now. On that. Oh, you fucker. Get fucked, you dumbass bum bomb. I hope you're happy with what you've done. And no, I will not die. I. Almost died at actually a few times there. God for dumb luck, huh? And we're cruising along and speed through level a little bit. Haha, <laughs> you can't catch me, fucker. I want to say that 420 story I was telling earlier occurred in one of the Forest of Illusion levels. Zipt would probably remember better than I would. Because I believe he was sober at that moment. 
And I definitely wasn't. I remember where we are sitting. I remember we are using my projector. And uh, that's about it. And I remember that we were playing this and what like I was wearing. What I am telling you is I don't remember the important details of it. Hey, hey, fuck off. I want my feathers. Fuck, loser. Right. Look up this hell. Take that for a little pawn. I make a lot of references to different bands that I like, different songs that they perform, and occasionally albums in general. So if you ever hear anything odd like that, that's probably what I'm doing. Fuck you, minigame. At work, throughout the past few days, I have listened to the five Pantera albums that actually matter. And I am pretty impressed with that, really. And I have a, well, my own personal ranking of said albums. And it is kind of, like, I don't want to call it controversial. I hate calling shit controversial. But compared to a lot of other shit that I have seen online and different fans of Pantera that I've spoken to, my personal favorite album and the one that I think is the best is different compared to a lot of people so I like the Great Southern Trend Kill the most out of all of their albums I think that is a goddamn masterpiece that isn't necessarily a popular opinion it's their heaviest it's their most brutal the recording sessions were strained for it. Phil was at, what, Nothing Studios out in New Orleans, which was owned by Trent Reznor. And everyone else was, I think it went to Dimebag Daryl's Studios in Texas. Oh, here we go with that. Damn it. I fucked up. Ah, well. Ah, uh, well. It is making me adapt to how I am playing the game. Even though I don't want to adapt, I want to keep doing it the same way I have been. Let that do its thing. Anyway, back to Pantera talk. That's what I feel like talking about right now, and I... You motherfucker! Fine. Fucking difficult way, I guess. Um... And then... I personally think... Far Beyond Driven. Damn it! This is their second best one. Honest to God, I think from uh, Cowboys from Hell onward to Great Southern Trend Kill, they get better and better. And if you disagree with my opinion,
you can uh have your opinion, I guess. It's wrong, but you can have it. Um Yeah, I think it goes friend kill, far beyond, vulgar, reinventing, and then cowboys. Which Again, like, I, I'm pretty sure that's a relatively controversial opinion. I don't think it should be controversial. I think that should be the absolute truth. Fuck. But it isn't. Because some people just... God damn it! Fucker. Someone has to be wrong. And it's not going to be me. This time. I will be wrong plenty of other times. Believe me. Fucker, come on. Right into my trap. Why I didn't do that last time is beyond me. I'm kind of dumb. But Pantera had albums prior to Cowboys from Hell with Phil doing vocals on the one immediately prior. I believe that one's called power metal, but that was more glam rock, and they don't really count. They're not good. They aren't. Take my word for it. Don't even, don't even bother with them. But that's, uh, you want to try Pantera Rant? That everything I can say about them for now. Actually, I should get a hold of my roommate and ask if he has their live album. Because if he does, I need to put that on my computer as soon as I can. And you might be thinking, computer? Putting your music on that? That's fucking dumb. It's 2022. Just stream it like a normal person. And while that is valid, and I do do that quite a bit. Streaming services are extremely volatile, and I refuse to get fucked due to some musician getting pissed off about something or another and yanking all their shit off of a service and having to switch to a new one. Because that just seems fucking inconvenient right there. Oh, that's the stompers. I don't think I like any of the fortress levels now that I'm thinking about it. Hey, fuck off, Sawblade. I didn't do nothing to you. You're trying to murder me. Leave me be. Oh. Close. Trying to be tricky. Fucker. Dublin up. Hey, that was just awful. Don't need that. Granted, it would be good for points, but I do not really give a fuck about points right now. I give more of a fuck about surviving. Haha. Uh -huh. I'll take the feather. Give it. Oh yeah. Isn't there a thing?
God, that's dangerous. As a kid, I would have been too terrified to even consider attempting that. As an adult, I'm much more reckless and don't think out my actions or any potential consequences. Oh, shit. See? See what I'm talking about? Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, I know I'm almost out of time. That was a close one. Perhaps too close. Alright, we will go do some more Star Road shit. That is what I feel like doing. But to do that, we are going to need some tools. I think this Mario stream, if I decide to do it again, I don't know, is going to wind up being a two-parter. Just because I am not particularly feeling it. As far as streaming goes. There we go. That's right. That... Hashtag kill Mario, is that what you're saying? That was pretty smooth, actually. I am a little bit impressed I made those series of jumps. <sighs> so I'm certainly not attempting these levels on this episode. Some of these are fucking tricky. There's one in particular, the second or third one, I think, where, where, uh, you get that balloon the entire time, and it, it's fucking awful. But, I think we've got one more level in us before we stop this game, at least. Oh shit! It's this one, my bad. I almost completely botched that. Which I've I've botched that little intro 
more times than I can fucking count. Due to my inability to perceive danger as effectively as I should be able to. But that that's not really something I'm willing to work on either. I am content with my inability to perceive threat to the characters that I am responsible for. And uh, that motherfucker. What a fucking asshole. I like sunglasses. I want them. God damn you. Haha. Over this game. <laughs> Mario has seen seen some shit. Come on, hurry up. Right, that's where we're going to end things for Super Mario World. Debating on if I want to do anything else real quick. We'll do that for a moment. Kirby's Avalanche. Because I want to. I don't know how long I'm going to do this. I'm not very good at it. Poppy Brother Sr. So this is pretty much Dr. Robotnik Mean Bean Machine, which is Puyo Puyo. It is a hell of a lot harder than Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, in my opinion. This game will fuck you. Any way, shape, or form it can. And it's not gentle. It's mean. It's vicious. Yeah, you was right. You son of a fuck. Right. That route. That route. I really like games like this for some goddamn reason. They're oddly sad satisfying to me. That. That. This thing. And I fucked myself.
book name is. That. Looks like I will be winning this one. Try as you might, you will not get me soon. So if you can fucking chain the shit, that'll really fuck with your opponent. Right, that route. Sometimes I make little minor errors. And I don't play this game very efficiently either. I'm like I said, I'm not very good at it. I don't know, I think I probably like this game because it seems so fucking soothing to me. And I don't necessarily play a whole hell of a lot of games that I can really fucking say that about. A lot of shit- fuck, I messed that one up, huh? A lot of shit that I play has me on edge quite a bit. And you might be thinking, well, if it if it's putting you on edge, why are you playing it? I like it. I don't mind the paranoia. Uh-oh. Uh that ain't good. This Free can go fuck itself. Well, you know what I mean. God damn it! Fuck you, asshole. What's something bad that can happen to trees? I hope all of your limbs rot, you son of a bitch. I hope they rot and they have to be pruned or whatever the fucking proper term is. I hope they chop you down and you're not even used for firewood. Fucking bastard. Oh, wait. Update that. Okay. That was close. I, uh, I apologize. Right. 
right. That route. You gotta be fucking shit, man. Fucking asshole. You son of a bitch. That route with the... Fuck it, eh. I feel like the AI gets better drops than we do. Just some straight up bullshit. But I suppose this came out in the old days where renting video games was an extremely popular thing to do. And Nintendo being Nintendo was more than likely strong arming any company it could really into complying with its bullshit fuckery where oh well we need more people to rent this to make us more money now on one hand i get it fucking shit man see what i mean with that placement um it is a good business tactic it is just an incredibly shitty practice to take part part in. God damn it. Fuck that one up. Try that again. Yeah yeah, roots, all that. I hope you get tree leprosy. That's when Nick decided he was done with this level. That road. Okay. It's a letter in the alphabet. Knowing this half the battle. Um there. That's right. That one. That one. This one. That one. Yeah. Ha! Stupid fucking tree. It got tree leprosy. Honest to God, before I, uh... Well, never mind. I was gonna say, before I consider uploading this to YouTube, I will probably cut out this part, but... I don't really see any harm in letting it stick around for a while. If I get bad feedback on it, then I'll cut it. 
get buff. Two, one. Sometimes you just gotta get aggressive with me. Toss it out, that always works. Not this time, I don't think. That route. Fine, I didn't want that one there anyway, asswipe. Fuck you, buddy. You son of a bitch. There. That actually worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. That one. I swear these games aren't stressful at all. As I proceeded to cuss out the game a bit ago. My life more difficult. Thank you for promoting the socials, Lynn. Just Lynn. That is something that I should get the habit of doing more often. God damn it. Fuck you, you stupid fucking. I guess I. I don't quite know what you are. You stupid fucking thing. That. Purple, I hope you lose. No, not me. done that, but it is too late now. Cool. 
the fuck out of here with your bullshit. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm really just trying to get two and a half hours. One more mat. Or two, depending on how long it takes. Hmm, that worked very well. That route. of a fucking bed. Oh, nothing but terrible things happen to you. I hope your broom handle fucking snap. Because I firmly believe that is the worst thing that could possibly happen to you at the moment. You seem to really enjoy it, anyway. See, just keep saying horrible things for the game. And eventually, <laughs> I like how Kirby pretty much just tells the squid to fuck off. Them. Those. Match ain't going so bad so far, but that could change relatively quickly. Case in point. God evidently hates me, for some reason. It is... Like I... Have told many jokes... At their expense. And... He is holding... Some sort of... Fuck me. Some sort of grudge. Like a monster. I hold grudges, though. I shouldn't, but I do. I'm an American, I have every right to. Is the excuse I'm going with. It's not a very good excuse, but again, it's what I'm going with. No, no, no. And Furthest I've ever gotten is, uh, stage 7. So, that's that. I was not sober when I got that far. Which makes it far more impressive, in my opinion. 
Hey! You fucking bastard! Wasn't fair at all. Good, I hope that fucks you up. Hope it foils all your bullshit plans. I was kidding! I don't hope that at all. Motherfucker. Not cool. Exact opposite of cool. Nope! Ah, fuck. Well, we have went over two and a half hours, so I'll wrap things up. So socials, be sure to check out YouTube if you liked what you saw this evening. Or if you are checking this out on YouTube, there is also Twitch. Yet another dead clone, same fucking name. Um, again, if you're a kid, you should not be watching this content at all. You will likely be grounded if your parents catch you. I tend to like saying words like fuck and shit and goddammit way more than I should. I swear like a sailor, I swear to god. Um. Oh yeah, another thing. New command for Nightbot. Suggest, what do you want to see on this channel? Um. I think that's about all I've got for you guys. I'll be back at some point tomorrow. I don't know when, but it'll be sometime. Likely the afternoon. I doubt I'm waking up early. But I appreciate everyone that tunes in. Everyone that watches. As a post view, whether it's on Twitch or YouTube. Greatly appreciated. If you like what you saw, go ahead and follow. I think that's what the button's called. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that stuff. But until next time, you guys and girls, whatever, whatever you identify as.